base coverings are the key. You know, if you really look at it, um, the data is really clear. They work. You know, we're not defenseless against this virus. That is the director of the CDC explaining how face masks are key to reopening our schools safely. So parents, you have some homework to do. Psychologists say your kids really should be practicing wearing those face coverings now well before they return to school campuses. So what if your kid doesn't want to wear a mask? Brittany Thomason talked with moms and a local psychologist for some guidance. These might feel uncomfortable, but the psychologist says if you put a positive spin on wearing masks, kids might just buy into it. The biggest struggle is that little kids are independent. They like to exert their power and they want to run the show. And so to have something that's physically on their face isn't, isn't always easy. Yet these kids don't seem to mind at all. I asked their moms the secret. Some say kids love picking the design if you make it about a fashion statement. If we can make this fun, that's so much better. So that has definitely been a wonderful step to be able to say, hey, let's make sure you're a superhero. Let's make sure that you're doing something that's very exciting. Dr. Melissa Estevio says you can also use praise to encourage kids. Our energy, if it's more like, I know that this is so hard and I know that this isn't a part of your routine and this is very negative, they'll also respond to that negative energy as well. So keeping it light, keeping it positive, I think is huge. Moms say stickers and treats also help. I'm all for bribery. I really think that we have like a special surprise system and if you do, you know, enough good things, you get a special surprise. Phoenix Children's Hospital sent me some tips. One of their ideas is you can tell your kids to pretend they're doctors when wearing the masks. You can also show them photos of other kids wearing them. In Phoenix, Brittany Thomason, Arizona's Family.